<laughs> Sunscreen. They don't call it the Golden State for nothing. Nearly every day in California is bathed in golden sunshine, and it's important to protect your... What's that? Golden State nickname traces back to the discovery of gold in 1848? Oh, right. Anyway, wear your sunscreen. It does the body good. With its large Mexican-American population, California has the best ratio of taquerias per capita of any state in the U.S. Taquerias offer much more than tacos. Burritos, quesadillas, salsas, horchatas, Mexican Cokes with sugar rather than corn syrup. There's no better post-ride meal to be found anywhere. Many parts of California are highly populated and the state is notorious for its congested roads, which can also make for dodgy riding. Whenever possible, it's best to avoid major arteries and instead take side roads or bike paths. However, riding on sidewalks is against the law. Bicycles must adhere to the same laws as motor vehicles. A quick dip in the ocean can be just the thing after a long, hot ride. However, sand can wreak havoc on your drivetrain, and leaving your bike unattended at a well-populated beach, well, that's a risky endeavor. It's better to take turns with a riding buddy during your chamois dip. Go ahead, Dan, I got this shizzle cover, mate. Philly boots, mate. It should come as no surprise that the land of Hollywood, Silicon Valley, and Beverly Hills is also the land of $10,000 bikes and $2,000 kits. It's not uncommon to encounter a group of riders stopped at a cafe on a Saturday morning looking dressed to impress rather than to ride. Be sure to drop these people at every opportunity, even if you're one of them. Significant, iconic climbs can be found just outside most major Californian cities. In San Diego, there's Mount Palomar. Los Angeles offers up Mount Baldy and Glendora Mountain Road. Santa Barbara has Gibraltar. Santa Cruz has Mount Charlie and Empire Grade. The Bay Area has Mount Hamilton, Mount Diablo, Mount Tamalpais. The list goes on and on. And as the saying goes, there's gold in them there hills. Pure climbing gold. Californians are notorious for rolling stop signs. So much so, there's actually a police term for it. A California roll. We're not talking about sushi here. Rolling a stop sign is not just illegal, it's also dangerous. So keep your eyes open and don't do as the locals do. A ticket for blowing a stop sign can run $300 or more. Depending on where you're riding, and more importantly, how fast you're riding, insects might just get all up in your business. Do yourself a favor and apply the bug spray before leaving the house, but after the sunscreen. If tacos aren't your post-ride meal of choice, try In-N-Out Burgers. The Double Double is the house specialty. If you're really up for a caloric bomb, wash it down with a chocolate milkshake. In-N-Out is a California institution, but be warned, they're almost always crowded. So last but not least, whenever you go out for a ride in California, be sure to bring your state-issued ID. Certain routes go through military bases, such as Camp Pendleton, and you won't be allowed in without ID. Furthermore, if you happen to get pulled over, having ID won't get you out of a ticket, but if you don't have ID, you can pretty much guarantee you'll be leaving with a ticket. For more Californian content, click up here, and to cafe stop like a pro, click down here. And to subscribe, just click on one of our beers. That was nice, that wasn't it? Do a low two and I'll say Philly Boots done, I got this covered. I got this shiz covered. <laughs> I got this shizzle covered. <laughs> okay, we Okay, okay. All right, okay, hold up. Okay.